Hi everyone, Dr. De Plays here. Um, we're going to be taking a first look today at Patron, which is a, uh, a city builder. Um, it's more like a community builder on um, early access at the moment. I've been uh, given access to uh, a beta build of it for the moment. This is the same build, I think, as the demo that was out in the Steam Next Fest, uh, but this is there's getting continual updates and things. I am just going to turn down the mo music volume just a touch. That's a little bit loud in my ears there. Right. So we don't know too much about this, apart from the fact that obviously we can see it's kind of a medieval style um, community builder. Um, so I'm going to try and just jump in, see what the tutorial says to me, and go from there. So, new game. Uh, Jamestown. We're not having Jamestown. <laughs> okay, it's like massacre there. Um, <clears throat> let's go for Jedi. Um, no. Let's go for uh, Safety Star, because we were going to liberate the universe. Right, um... Let's see. Oh, Slytherin. Why is Slytherin in the game? Um, oh, quite like the wolf one. The dragon's quite nice too. I do like my banners here. Oh, the scorpion. We could be Nod. We'll be Nod. Why not? So that's fine. Uh, Mediterranean. Peaceful among Mediterranean looking island. Almost Mediterranean looking island. A uh, little fertile soil scattered. Mm, okay, that looks quite nice. Um, Pine Ridge. High, high temperate. It doesn't look like much like a forest on that picture there. Uh, Twin Islands. The summit. Reef, reef sounds quite nice. We'll, go, well, I can't can't choose that one in a demo, sadly. So, uh, oh, I can only choose Mediterranean. So we'll go Mediterranean. Then. We'll go with the standard as well. What's his ten six three? Because it's ten adults, six children, three imaginaries. I don't know. Um, we will see what that happens with. Um, we'll leave everything as it is. Demolish refund is half. Okay, continue. Let's carry on and see what we can do with this. Um, so yeah, thanks very much to the developers for letting me into the uh, kind of the early access part of this, um, so we can see what it's like. Hope you don't mind me recording. Right, so welcome to Patreon. This shoot tutorial, short tutorial, will guide you through the basic concepts of building your new city, setting up efficient production chains, and governing your people. Let's get started. I do like the banners. That's actually really quite nice. So let's move the cameras around. It's fine. It's done. Uh, we can hold the right mouse button and pan. Ooh, shake everything across. Uh, and zoom in and out. Oh, we can zoom out quite a way. That's quite a lot of aliasing, anti-aliasing, I should say. That's quite nice. Uh, Q and E to rotate. That's fine. Or we can hold the mouse wheel and rotate. Uh, okay, so let's click on something with the left mouse button. Lovely. Your citizens are in desperate need of housing. Citizens who find a place to live are happier and will pay taxes. Only, only one family can buy a single house. Okay, so we hit all that, and we can build a tent for a house. Okay, so let's, uh, how do we rotate? Yeah, so we rotate like this. I don't mind them being too close to each other initially. That's fine. Oops. So this is three houses. I do want to build two more, but I will build those in a second. We can also build a shelter. Might cause me some problems later on, but I will take it for the time being. Okay, that's all done. Thank you very much. Uh, do we have a speed up time button? Okay. Uh, making efficient production chains rests on having valuable data. One key element is grid overlays, so let's go for the eyeballs, which is here. Uh, minimap toggle grid, show height trees. So we click that one. Yeah, there we go. Ah, put that house back further. That's going to annoy me. Right, among the basic needs, yes, build a gatherer's shelter. Gatherer's shelter, there we go. So let's pop you, uh, I'm guessing I want to pop you back here. Pop it there. It's nice and efficient. Now let's turn off the grids because they don't look Oh god, hello. Keeping like that for the moment. So one house is built. We can insulate things as well, that's pretty cool. Okay, so I know you're all worrying about housing, that's fine. We have time things down here. So let's speed up time. It's that house on the left there. The last house on the left. It's actually quite a good film. Did enjoy it when it first came out. Probably wouldn't watch it again now though. Ooh, it's summer. Can, can you build? 
What's the matter? Do we not have enough wood? Uh, so gather a shelter, wrong fruit mushrooms, blah, blah, blah. Hunting lodge, foresters huts. Plants and cut down trees. So let's do that. There. Can we set a tree to be uh, anything? Can I sign beautification, roads and bridges, clear buildings and resources? So let's do that for those. Makes sense. I think I'm going to get rid of some of these as well, just because they. Oh, hello, I clicked on a person, I didn't mean to. There was all these trees down here because they're just in the way. Okay, now let's speed up time. And the fact that you can go to 10 times is quite nice. Yeah, you can't go any further than that, but that's okay. House is starting to get built. Uh, let me just try that again. Make sure they get done too. I'm very annoyed about the house being one off, but that's okay. Right, so most buildings require workers to operate. In the case, in this case, to gather a shelter, which is up here, uh, requires gatherers to actually go out and collect various fruits and mushrooms. To do this, you should assign workers to the profession. So let's just assign two workers to it. Why you got a red thing on you? Overly long transport routes can cause serious problems. Build a depot, which I'm going to do. First of all, let's clear off some building resources here. Uh, all about production chains. Yes, place some roads and connect your buildings. That's the next thing I was going to do. Roads and bridges, just a dirt road is fine. Uh, so let's go. Okay. Now have I completely stuffed that? Let me turn on the grid. I thought I've put them way too close together. Um, I will come back to you in a second. Good sir. Oh, okay, cross this gate. Right. Winter is coming and your invaluable citizens will want to keep warm. Uh, hello, go away. Uh, they do this by burning firewood or coal. For starters, let's ensure they have a decent supply of firewood. Build a sawmill to create firewood. Okay, don't do so town buildings. No, it's going to be production buildings. Foresters hunt to sawmill. I can't build it there because of the wood. And pop you up there, then that's fine. We will eventually get there. Enough wood and stuff is being destroyed, so I'm okay with that. Yeah, so you can zoom out quite far. It doesn't really help you in seeing much because it's very blurry at that point. Um, but it's a little bit more helpful than being zoomed right in. I wonder if there was a uh, keyboard shortcut there to speed up time, but we will wait. Got a boat over here. Can we take the boat? No, probably not. I think the UI is a little bit large. I would rather the UI was slightly smaller in certain places, but it's okay. Right, berries and mushrooms aren't enough to keep your citizens fed, happy, and healthy, of course. Uh, build a hunting lodge and assign a worker to the hunting profession. So let's um, put the forester in there, that's fine. And then we will build a hunting lodge too. Just build it there for the moment. Okay. Let's get rid of those few trees there. I'll get rid of a few trees there too. Just so that I can keep them, uh, keep enough wood going on. I've got 210, but that's fine. When you take care of the basic necessities, you'll want to expand. Grow and advance. Take a look at the various research projects you can undertake with you. Okay, so let's have a look at that. So research. Quarry, 15 days. Fisherman's so We will take a fisherman's hut. We are right on the coast. It makes sense to do that. Uh, cleared path. Ooh. Okay, well we can't chain things at the moment. But I like the fact there's research built into the game there. It's quite nice. 
Yes, yes, that's fine. We know how to speed up and slow down things now. Okay, how many people do we have? They'll be under here. So we have seven workers. Let's have a carrier. We don't need anything else at the moment. Okay. So let's build you into the sawmill. So now we're getting some logs and things. People will eventually be fine. We can upgrade you to have insulation, which costs five lumber. So then we'll take that. I mean, I've got 104 gold, so I don't think it's a problem. We can expand things as well. That's quite interesting. Is this just my storehouse? Oh, I have decrees that I can take as well. Okay, I can't get there yet, I don't think so. We will leave that for the time being. Expansion one line, baskets one. Production plus 25% just makes sense. We will be able to eventually upgrade you into a stone house when we get there. Why do you still have a red X? No woodcutter in building. Well, I'm trying to get you a woodcutter, mate. That's the weather by the sounds of it. The thunder effects in here are quite good. Quite happy with that. Thought was a person walking away there. The rain effect is quite aggressive though. Can I make anyone? Not yet. I need people to breed. So, so, ah, okay, so that's fully upgraded, so that's fine. People do work in all weathers in this game. Let's speed it up a little bit. Um, okay, research is done. Okay, uh, we, we do it. Take you two. Uh, okay, we'll leave that. And so now the next point is getting people to breed. Um, which is one of the problems I never actually had in Banished when I played that. Banished had uh, a lot of options to make people breed, or a, little, a lot of ways people would breed. Uh, oh, we have one in there finally, that's good. The, the rain can go away now, please. Like, it's, it's fine as a weather effect, but it's a little bit heavy. I think I just need to turn that down a little bit. Uh, I mean, it's fine when you're down on the ground, but then you, don't, you lose the, the macro view on your, your thing. Not sure now. You can't click on people. I thought I could click on people. Click on houses. So, hunting lodge is fine. Forester site is fine. Um, I'll do improved axes. And then, I don't, I'll take expansion one too. Yeah, it's fine. I'll right, we'll move the second worker in there for the time being. So, what else we got to do? Let's have a look at the research quickly. I will take um, you know, a quarry, wouldn't be too bad. Hey, the rain's gone, fine. We'll wait for a quarry to be built to, to be researched, and I'll build it over here, I think, because this is all mineable stone. I don't know if this is, um, and I don't know if this is as well. Oh, wow, okay, the rain's back. Research done. So now let's go into let's speed slow this down a little bit building, there's a depot, I can't afford the rest, so how do I get coins? They pay taxes. Oops. Okay, taxes 90, so we just got to wait for some taxes to come in really, there we go. There's a, herbalist hut. There's a fisherman's hut, so we did say we were going to do the fisherman's hut, so let's do it. There. Let's get that built. Putting a land over here I can use, so... Some more wood on the go. We've got, we've got 226, which is fine to be fair. Um, 79 stone as well. Right, we've got 11 gold, so I can't afford any upgrades at the moment. So I need to work on how to get better taxes. Uh, ideally, I want more people, um, but no one's complaining there's no housing yet. So we're okay there. Do with another forester, maybe I'm not overly bothered by that. Uh, town hall doesn't help me. Additional panels, annual stock, residence. There we go, that's what I wanted. 
Uh, yeah, so we've got Helena who's seven six eight nine two four three zero. Hello, Maud. Uh, we're doing okay. Growth is fine. Population isn't increasing all that much. So I'm imagining there's something I'm not doing to increase that. Um, we need to get a fisherman there. Right, so let's make a fisherman. And when someone is ready, they can go be a fisherman. I'm imagining I'm going to need to expand that road, which I can barely see actually. Maybe the roads could do with something different there. Uh, where's roads? I think that's him connected there. It's difficult to tell. Looks connected to me. I should remember it's always right click to dismiss things, that's fine. So we're on 10, 6 and 4 again for the people. Well, let's speed up time a little bit. Let's hope we get some more people joining. I'm 47 for the rent. Sorry for the gold, I should say. Come on, kill it. Hunter, where are you? Okay, in July, we are 66 gold, so let's slow it down a little bit. Uh, can we build anything for production? Uh, herbalist hut could be quite good. There's a quarry. Put quarry down. Really? Let's pop a quarry there then. I'll try and grab a road down to it as well. I can just build a cross actually. Why are you not let me build there? Okay, we can do that. Not sure what's happening there, but we'll come back to that in a second. Uh, 10, 6, and 5. We have another child, so that's good. I like that child to grow up a little bit. So I'm speaking to my daughter. Um, <clears throat> it's a good job she doesn't watch my videos. She would hate me for <laughs> some of the things I say to her. Or about her, I should say. But hey, she's a teenager. She's going to hate me anyway. Okay, let's get ourselves a, uh, a quarry person in there, or two, if we can. I think most of the people are actually employed now. Um, not enough workers, I am aware. Trying to breed more. The game is taking its time. So let's really, really speed things up a little bit. Uh, we have 205 meals, 206 meals, that's good. I'm just going to do a bit of a time lapse here. I'm going to go forward in time a little bit. I'm already on speed 10, so I'm just going to wait. Let this run in the background for the meantime uh, and see what happens. Okay, well, we'll leave that for the moment. We're still on 10 adults, so we don't need any more houses or anything. Oh, new things grow when it rains. I do like that. That's very good. Um, I might want to build a depot at some point, because I don't know if things are being stored. I think they're just internally. Okay. I'll build a depot just to say. There. That is fine. Let's clear some resources there. Let's get rid of those. Well, they just did get chopped down. Lovely. Oh, all well, the trees have gone. That's quite nice. What's that? Don't know. Well, let's see what else we can do here. Uh, so we'll do cleared path for the time being. Why are you so empty? It's very strange you've got holes in you. Not quite sure why that is, but hey, okay, never mind. Not having any more kids, why not? Research done, looks good. So we can do track and prey, or we can do a mine, a toolsmith. Again, I'm still not seeing Stone House 1. Stone Well. Mm. 
take that. Take that too. Reduce garbage. I'll keep minus 15%. Maybe think about that. Don't necessarily need it right now. Uh, you're fine. You're fine. Don't do anything with you. Uh, trapper training one. We'll take that. Get a little bit more food out of it at least. 150 meals. Which is fine. That's 269. That's firewood. We're doing well for the firewood too. Um... Take mechanisation too as well. Right. What can we do with you? Nothing at the moment because that takes coins which I didn't have at the time. Didn't realise they all cost coins too. Okay. I haven't got a herbalist just yet, but I could always pop a herbalist there. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. big area that we're in. The map is rather large. Yeah, I'm okay with that for the time being. So we're on seven children again. It's taken a long time. Uh, yeah. One of them's just turned ten. There's four uh, just borns. So I'm not sure if they age up in the same time as in like banished for example where it's like I think it's one season or something or two seasons and they age up and that you can use them then um, not too sure how long that's going to take minus six degrees wow okay we're gonna leave um, this one here this uh, was patron which I have actually been quite enjoying um, so if you want to see some more of this uh, as the game progresses I'll keep an eye on patch notes and things just to see what we can see um, looks a very very interesting um, kind of colony builder, like I say, um, kind of survival sim. It's not quite as harsh as Banished. Obviously, it's the one that's going to draw the most uh, kind of comparisons to because that's the other big one in this space. Did look at Timberborn before as well on the channel, which I also quite liked. Had a very different um, kind of skew and viewpoint in it for the fact that it was all about beavers. Um, and yeah, that was interesting. That's not out yet, whereas I do have access to Patreon. Um, and I believe it's going into proper early access for everyone. Um, think in August but I'm not too sure and don't quote me on it. Uh, if you do want to see some more though don't forget to let me know down below and um, while you're down there don't forget to do that subscribe button, big red one that I know you're not pressing. Um, but that's the first 25 minutes or so of Patron. I'll see you around for another episode of something else soon.